The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, we're going to talk about poker for just a minute because it has to do with, uh, you know, money management and risk control and probabilities. The game that we play is called Texas Hold'em. It's a variation of seven card stud. There's, seven, there's ten players. Each player gets two cards, and then they flip uh, three cards out, which are family cards, and then they do another one and another one for a total of seven cards. And we're playing in a tournament. There were 383 people, and you, they play down to the last 40 places. I got down to 39th place, so I got my money back plus $200. It was $200 buy-in. But the hand that you're going to hear about, I have, it just, it, it just literally stunned me. Okay, the, the two people at the table that are in the hand do not like each other. They play there in Scottsdale all the time, and uh, the one player has the blind. In other words, he's automatically in for 2,000. The other guy calls for 2,000, then the flop comes, and the player that has the most chips – uh, well, no, he has he has four chips, actually four thousand dollars less. He has about eighty thousand dollars. He bets ten thousand uh, dollars before the pot starts, and so the guy in the little blind he calls ten thousand dollars. And the first three cards that come out are Ace, Queen, Queen, and the guy that has uh, the least amount of chips has a pair of aces. So he has aces full of queens, a full house with queens. That hand is only beaten by aces full of kings or four of a kind. The guy in the other seat has a pair of deuces. Okay, now the flop is, remember now, it's it's ace, queen, queen. It's one guy's got a full house. The next card is the deuce. And the deuce makes the guy with the little, with the largest amount of chips, a full house of queens full of deuces. He's a huge underdog. And so he bets all in and the guy that doesn't like him starts laughing at him and saying, you idiot, how could you even call that? Don't you have any idea what I have? And the guy says, well, I put you on a pair, you know, queens with a, with a king kicker. And he said, no, he said, I've got pocket rockets. And he said, well, looks like I'm going to be losing unless a deuce comes up. And sure enough, the fourth deuce comes up and he wins with four deuces, beats full of uh, aces, full of queens. And folks, the person that lost he lost it. I mean, he literally went nuts. They had to carry him out of the casino. He was yelling and screaming and cussing. You could hear him outside after, you know, he'd even shut the door there. I mean, it was just really, and, you know, we were sort of giggling about it because he was the one that didn't make a big enough bet. Otherwise, the guy with the three deuces never would have been in there. But anyway, that's what it was. Uh, to me, it was the most exciting thing I've seen in poker in, in many, many years. But uh, had a lot of fun. That's it. Let's get to the markets. I've got the chart up here of December wheat. And my my limit minder went off about an hour or so ago. And I noticed that we hit that magical level of 527. We've been waiting for that for a long time. Now, you remember what we were doing is we were buying the March wheat. Remember, we bought the March wheat right here, and we had a nice profit in it that turned out to be a break-even trade today. And, of course, we, we broke down even more. But when I was looking at this, I said, look at this. I said, I've had this on here for well over a month. Uh, yeah, well, since November the 6th. That's what we're looking for it to get here. But we had a double 1.618 expansions. We have the 1.618 of this one. And we have the 1.618 of this one. And if we do just a little tiny bit of cycle work, we're just going to do it like this. This this is the thing from uh, Ensign. What that does, it sets up the cycle. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the moon phases. Uh-oh, time out. We've got a caller coming in. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Hold on one second, and we'll see what it's all about. Still haven't seen the chart. How can that be? I've got my uh, – man, I tell you. Folks – the old cowboy is so close to calling it quits on the as far as I, I just can't take this tech technical stuff. I really can't. It just drives me nuts. Try it one more time here. Hold on. Ah, boy, oh, boy. I give it. Hold on. Now, there's the screen. We're going to hit the screen. There's the screen right here. We're going to hit go live, hopefully with a little bit of luck. 
Ping me, uh, Al, if uh, we got got the screen going, okay? Okay. Now, here, here are the lunar cycles down here at the bottom. It's today. Actually, the 27th is the full moon uh, today, and it is absolutely spectacular. I mean, it is here in the desert. It's really amazing. Now, what we want to do is we want to see if there's any re relationship between timing on this moon. I've got a, I've got a book up here by... Uh, uh, Andrew Lowe, uh, the technical analysis of uh, of uh, to stock market, uh, technical analysis of financial markets, and he said in the first 50 pages he said the first technicians were the uh, astrologers from Sumeria and Babylonia and stuff, and they had you know clay tablets with wheat. But look, this is the th this is the full moon here. There's your new moon right here. This one day off of the high, okay. Then you go to your next full moon, one day off of the high. You go to the next new moon. That was one day off of the low. There's your full moon here, right on. There's your f new moon there, right on. So there's something there. Now, when you've got two numbers setting here at 1.618 and 1.618, uh, you got to be tempted to say, well, I don't have to risk very much right here. So I said in the, in the video that I sent out was I said, OK, because it could be off by a day, we're going to wait for a day. But by golly, we think there's a possibility here that wheat may be turning, you know, to go up. Now, this is the December wheat, the March wheat you know, went down quite a bit below what we were looking at. But I want to bring this to your attention, too, because this is relatively important. About two weeks ago, I said, is there anybody out there that can do Ensign that can work with a software program and stuff? And I did hear from somebody, somebody quite uh, interesting and quite famous. And I, I've asked him to, I asked him to run these things. And basically, I wanted to be long wheat when you're above the red line. And when you're below the red line, you go short wheat. And there's you see you go you go short here you go long there so you would have made a little bit of money here you go short here and you stay short all the way till there you get whipsaw just a little bit then you got a tiny bit of whipsaw here this would have made a little money this would have got you down you're still short actually today is uh, what you'd still be short but folks I'm on to something really really exciting here related to these cycles and stuff. It's, it's really going to be really good. We've only tested two or three markets. One market totally un, unrelated to uh, growing stuff that has a real high probability of cycle stuff is the British pound. And it's, it's really amazing to see it. I haven't got all the data. I need 100 samples to do anything. And so we're working, we're working on that to try to find, you know, where we are. But this is a, stop and think, folks, this is a really nice trend-following system, you have to admit. You can go back and look, even during, even, look at these markets. Here you get whipsawed here a little bit. You get whipsawed here that gets you short all the way through here. You get whipsawed a little bit. Here it gets you long all the way up here. Gets you short right there. Gets you long right here. Gets you short right there. <laughs> you know, the odds of this thing working are better than 6 out of 10, far better and the risk uh, on the risk winning trades versus the losing trades is uh, is really quite uh, you know really quite amazing so that's what we're that's what I'm doing now over the holidays as I'm going to be preparing that and we're going to see what things are going to be going we'll be right back folks so stay with us Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. I hope uh, you can see the uh, Treasury bond uh, chart here. This is an hourly chart. We just made the 78% level here at 116.01. Uh, you know, we came down uh, last night. We made an exact 50% retracement in the middle of the night, of course. There it was right there. And, of course, we've had a nice rally. Now, the $64 question that someone asked me, is this a head and shoulders pattern? And, folks, the only way you can make this a head and shoulders pattern is to take this high because it is higher than that high. Okay, and you've got this high over here and you've got this high over here. If you come over here and you measure from your right leg, from your one side to the other, in other words, this is your high, okay, there's your shoulder, there's your left shoulder. See, that says it should be coming in right about here. Remember, this is a 60-minute chart, so it could be off by a little, well, it could be off by a day or two, I suppose. But the interesting part is, you see the price here? They're exactly the same. So that is the definition of uh, the head and shoulders pattern that we have. Look at this. The high is 116.01. Your risk here is 116.05. You only risk it in 6.6 to see if you're right or not. So that, that is a, that's basically a head and shoulders pattern. You can see there's your left shoulder, there's your right shoulder, and there's your head. Be nice if it were perfectly symmetrical, but the, because your time is there, that tells you what your risk factor is, and there's your, 78% level right there. So <clears throat> that's what we're watching here uh, today in the bonds. I thought I'd bring that to your attention because it looks, uh, you know, really, really interesting. Remember, Jeff Hughes is our guest today. Tomorrow is uh, Stan Harley. And then on Wednesday, don't miss it, the whole the whole period Wednesday will be uh, Joe DiNapoli and uh, Fib Levels guy. I've known him for since Hector was a pup, and that dog is 54 years old, believe it or not. Okay, let's move over here. Uh, to the gold market because we've had a some pretty good action going here today in the gold. We had a run up last night on Sunday night. You can see we we uh, we took off uh, fr from these levels here. From well, we were here's the last time we were on the air. Let's just clean this up a little bit and go to a uh, 13 minute chart so we can see a little bit better what's going on. But there was our run up uh, last night, and all we've been able to do since that time. There was our low from Thursday, and as though those of you that like to follow uh, A, B, C, D patterns, uh, let's just draw this in so you can see it. There's your low on Thursday, the 23rd, 
high, low, look at this. Can't make this up. Perfect A, B, C, D pattern right here. And now we're bouncing uh, back a little bit, uh, which is uh, what you'd like to see. We also had a really nice move here on Friday when most people were not even around trading, including yours truly. You'll see from your low up to your high here, that came in uh, exactly at the 50% level also. So it's been hitting 50% levels pretty nicely here uh, during this recent time period. Let's just double check this one from your low up to your high. There it is, exactly 50%, almost to the tick. Let's just see how, oh, wow, it's only off by uh, $1, uh, less than a dollar. Uh, 04 is a number, came in at 530. This is where we are now. So we'll see. This is a very important number because we went back there on the daily, and so we've matched that. The the big runner of this whole thing has been silver, folks. Silver has been, I don't know who they got trapped in that silver, but it certainly hasn't been me. Let's get this up here. And we'll grab, let's, let's just do the hourly chart. You'll be able to see the, the effect of it because it was spectacular here uh, on uh, on Friday. And then again, Sunday night, look at look at look what happened. Here's Friday night. Look at Sunday night. Look what it did. Holy cow. This is a heck of a run. You know, it's all uh, all the way up here. No, no basic pullback here, except we had a 382 pullback here on the 20th. And there's a 61 percent retracement pullback uh, right there. So those are a couple of the things that we're watching here uh, this morning. As far as looking at the daily chart on the silver, uh, it's broken out. As you can see, we blasted through the 61% retracement. Uh, I haven't done the ABCD structure on this. We're going to do this together right now. There's your AB. There's your CD pattern. Whoa, we're getting pretty close, aren't we? 24.594 and the high has been 24.94. It's hit the exact number. Wow, I just saw that. That is the exact number, 2494, and the high was 249350. Uh, so that's that's within a penny of uh, the exact high, and it's already down at 2468. It's dropped uh, 22 cents. So that meet, let's just look at it on a real shorter time frame here. For a minute, you'll see that it's backed off a little bit, but there was your number right up there. So. It's going to be interesting to see what happens to silver here because this is, I just noticed that. Boy, I tell you, I must be losing it, folks, because I'm missing a couple of things here, and it's driving me absolute bonkers. I don't know what the problem is. I guess I'm not putting enough work in on this because I should have been spotting that, that that level is, is real key to what we're, what we're paying attention to here. Um, from the high here to the last high, it's already way above the 78% level. You can see that by quite a bit but it has completed the abcd that is really a not let's just look at this just for the heck gets kicks and giggles okay from your low right here to your high right there it, it went up for uh 14 days okay so that means if this run here is 14 days this is probably a top in the silver market so you come over here and uh <laughs> It comes in here on December, well, later on, so that's not correct. The only thing that's correct about this, time time is the most elusive, folks. Well, that, believe me, we already know that. But we are over one of those things that they call a full moon. Let's get rid of this thing because we don't need this anymore. And there's our, there's our number right there. That's right where it went to. So let's pay attention to that. That could be really interesting. Hmm. Wow, should have seen that. I, that was probably low risk. Well, never mind. Let's move on. We had a question about, uh, hold on one second, about Apple. Let me get this up here so that you'll be able to see it here. And uh, I, I posted Apple a little while ago, but I want to bring it up here again. So, boy, where does the time go? It's already half hour time frame. Okay, here's the daily chart for Apple. And we were down a little bit. You can see it's held itself pretty good. But uh, there's where we are. Uh, in the Apple, we hit the 78% level. We're down, yeah, we're back up on the day now uh, in Apple, so it hasn't really done very much. Most of these stocks, you know, they still look relatively bullish in here, but I think that's something that we want to uh, remind ourselves that that's something we want to keep uh, keep a close eye on, okay? So if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. We're going to have Jeff Huge, as I said, today. Tomorrow is Stan Harley, and Wednesday will be uh, Joe DiNapoli, and I'm trying to get Bill Meridian 
uh, you know, Bill Sarubi on the Cycles Dude, and then also uh, one other fellow that we have on occasionally, Shane Smolian, but he's really swamped right now, but probably get him next week. So that's what we're paying attention to right now. We've got to pay a few bills here for our TFNN. So we've been, oh, we got 41 seconds left. Um, what other, oh, one other question that someone asked, I could probably ask it. Why do I go back and forth on the time frames? Mainly to see where I can see the patterns. That's, that's all I'm doing. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights on the line. Jeff, how are you doing today? I'm great, Larry. Thanks for having me on the show. It's my pleasure. You have a happy holiday with your family, I bet? Absolutely. It's great. Good. How about you? <laughs> uh, just living the dream on the green side of the grass. Uh, we're talking about CTAs it. set up to sell into year end. Um, I noticed you've got these yellow uh, and orange lines there. Now, where do they arrive from? Uh, that's my first question on this, uh, Jeff. 
Yeah, you know, it's a study that was published by Goldman Sachs. There's an analyst there by the name of Cullen Morgan. And, you know, his estimate is that the CPA's net long positioning in futures looks like it's poised to decline under any circumstances. But he's got a range of where he thinks, you know, the decline can go. And his best case scenario is that uh, red line up there, which is basically just slightly down. Um, he's, he's basically saying the best case scenario is that CTA net long positioning remains flat. But his worst case scenario is the yellow line that we get a two standard deviation decline. And his view is that uh, we could see upwards of, say, $50 billion in notional value of S&P 500 futures sold by CTAs before December 31st. Wow. That's a lot. <laughs> It would definitely that is a move lot. the market. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would definitely move the market. Let's take a look at the next one here that you're looking at right here. I mean, we've seen such an incredible move since October the 27th, which also happened to be a big uh, lunar eclipse. And uh, this is a full moon that we have going on right now. Now we're looking at volatility is now uh, dropped to a level we haven't seen in quite a long time, isn't it? Yeah, you know, the last time uh, the VIX was this low was 2019, uh, before the uh, the COVID collapse. And so, you know, it's really um, gotten down to a fairly deep oversold level if we look at the uh, six-week RSI oscillator at the bottom, which is one that I think is pretty appropriate for this study. And it's only the eighth time in the last five years that the VIX has gotten this deeply oversold on that measure each time that condition has developed in the past, it's been followed by a pretty sharp surge higher in the VIX over the subsequent days to weeks. Um, you know, the question that we pose is that, you know, will this current setup resolve in the same manner? And, you know, just given where we are in the rest of our analysis, we think uh, it's very likely to occur. And we think, you know, an initial move up to around, say, 27 percent or so, where we see that descending trend line come into place, Mm -hmm. Looks like a logical target to us, uh, but we would not be surprised to see this carry higher into the low 40 percent area. We think uh, mm -hmm. the setup is really such that we could see a relatively significant surge in volatility. Okay, Jeff, we got a uh, question from one of our listeners out in near your area in Minnesota, and his, uh, his question is, uh, do you take into effect the January effect that uh, so many people talk about? You know, how January goes, so goes the market? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm aware of it, just as everybody is. I mean, um, it, it doesn't work all the time, though. And so um, probably the best barometer is, I think, if you get the first five days of January up, uh, in addition to uh, a um, uh, an up January month, then that tends to translate to an up year. But there have been many instances where that hasn't been the case. I can't remember the exact percentages, but um, generally the first five days of January, uh, if they're up, it's a bullish signal. But usually only if the entire month of January is up. And even then, you know, it's it's not mm -hmm. not a sure thing. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, I wish sure there was a sure thing, but <laughs> okay, let's talk about this uh, uh, momentum that you're looking at here. This is really interesting to me because I, I see higher highs and then I see momentum, uh, you know, slowing down. And that's in the NASDAQ, which has been the monster of monsters for sure. Yeah, you know, exactly as you said, uh, the NASDAQ 100 has been leading the charge here. And if we look at, you know, kind of the MAG-7, these handful of stocks that have been driving everything, um, they represent 50% of the market cap of the NASDAQ 100. And we mm -hmm. saw last Friday the NASDAQ 100 posted a new all-time high, both on a weekly closing basis and on an interweek basis. Mm -hmm. However, we did see the 13-week rate of change uh, post a much lower high and turned down, actually. And, uh, you know, this goes back to really the June-July highs. We can see the exact same situation in July where we, we saw the NASDAQ 100 make a new interweek high, and its momentum did not confirm it. And that negative divergence that was illustrated in the chart by the number one, uh, you know, was subsequently followed by about a 12% decline over the next three months. Um, you know, importantly, I would say that momentum has failed to confirm the current advance in the NASDAQ as well. But it's also fallen well short of those June-July momentum peaks, leaving what we've described in the past as a 
a double negative divergence in, in effect. And, you know, while it's certainly possible for momentum divergences to be resolved, more often than not, uh, they have proven to be a very reliable warning signal of an impending trend change. And we think that's just what investors should expect uh, going forward is a trend change. As you mentioned earlier, uh, today is a full moon. Today is uh, the 27th of November. And, uh, you know, that tends to mark, uh, you know, turning points in the market, as we'll discuss in the next chart. Yeah, you know, it really does. In fact, I have done some work over the last several days with uh, one of my uh, colleagues, uh, and uh, I'm just literally shocked some of the things that he showed me, how, how close some of these things are to uh, being, you know, related to these lunar aspects. I've seen other studies in the different things, but each market has its own, I guess, fingerprint. And that's the thing that you have to do is to find out, you know, what that fingerprint is. But I, you know, I've had a little bit of experience with astrology enough to get me into a lot of trouble. So that's why I rely on <laughs> some of our other guests that, you know, specialize in that. Let's take a, well, we got a, I think we got a break coming up here pretty soon here. Um, we got a whole two minutes left. Let me get put this back up here. We'll, we'll look at our next chart here, Jeff. And that is the cycle inversion. Ah, these, I like inversions. I, I always like these. So tell us what you're watching here. Yeah, so, um, you know, this is the cycle composite for the S&P 500. It uh, aggregates three key cycles, the one-year seasonal cycle, the four-year presidential cycle, and the 10-year decennial cycle. And it aggregates th that together uh, and equally weights it. And the blue line basically gives you a historical expectation of what the market should do over the course of 2023. And you can see that through the gold dash line that the market has basically followed it very closely in terms of catching every turning point more or less right on, uh, on cue. Um, but what we're seeing right now is that the peak in the S&P 500 seems to be making a high, whereas the, um, the cycle composite itself looks to be making a low on this exact date, November 27th, which again mm -hmm. is the penultimate uh, full moon of the year and also a key Montgomery cycle turn date. Now, Paul McCray Montgomery was very, very keen to point out that cycles can invert from time to time, and they oftentimes do. Uh, there's another um, uh, market forecaster that we should mention here as well, the legendary market forecaster James Dine of the Dine's Letter fame. And, you know, he famously maintained a series of investment rules to live by. And among those, among those that we found to be most insightful was the rule pertaining to seasonality. And he said, whatever happens in October, expect the opposite to happen in November. And whatever happens in November, expect the opposite to occur in December. Dine's scorecard showed that that was accurate 84% of the time. Wow. Stay with us, Jeff. We'll be right back, folks. Jeff Huge Alpha Insights. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back talking with Jeff Hughes, and he's going to be talking to us about the primary degree Elliott wave analysis. This looks like a double top to me, my friend. You know, there's an open chart gap at uh, 45.77 on the S&P cash index that dates back I, to uh, August 1st. Um, yep. Our view has been that we're probably filling that gap or as close to filling it as we are likely to right now. And uh, we could see this this. You know, uh, November 27th, key uh, Montgomery cycle turn date, mark a high. That's our current expectation. If that's right, then we'd expect that to end um, intermediate wave two of a five-wave decline. So the subsequent wave would be wave three down, intermediate wave three of primary wave three. So we're looking for a third of a third wave decline. That would be a very powerful decline that would begin what we expect to be uh, a much more significant uh, uh, decline uh, throughout uh, uh, 2024, which, by the way, WD GAN had marked as a, uh, a crash year, a panic year. So 2024, in our mind, is likely to be a pretty hairy year for stock prices. Um, you know, we had previously been looking for the November 13th cycle turn date to mark a high. It did not. Actually, we think... Uh, uh, the uh, the turn came one day early on the 10th, and it marked an interim low. And so we think it's logical that this is going to be a high. Um, I'd also point out there's seven unfilled chart gaps below the market right now. We expect all of them yeah. to be filled eventually. So, Yeah, there's a lot of gaps. I haven't seen this many gaps in a very, very long time. Your next chart of your Elliott Wave perspectives, from the high that we made, uh, you know, way back there in on July the 27th, uh, we're pretty close to, a, aren't we close to a 61% retracement of that move, um, mm. Jeff? Exactly. We're just below it. And, um, you know, kind of we admittedly had been looking for the advance off the October 27th low uh, to be much shallower in the cap-weighted index than it's turned out to be. But if you look at the equal weight index, which is what, that's what we're looking at right now, a two-hour uh, range chart, um, it's much more pro proportional. We've just retraced about 61.8%, and it's been a clear three-wave zigzag sort of a move, which is corrective in our, uh, in our work. And if we also look at the decline off the July 27th high through the October 27th low, um, you know, that is a clear five-wave impulse pattern. And so five waves down is always followed by three waves up. That's exactly what we're given. And, and then we think the next move down will be another five-wave decline. We'd also point out the momentum divergence over the last 30 days. Uh, there's another thing that I put out on Twitter, uh, and it's not in this particular chart, but I'll just point it out that, you know, the October 13th low from 2022 was followed by a December 13th high, which was followed by a March 13th low uh, this year. So we had... We had a low, high, low sequence all on the 13th. Look at this. We had a high on the 27th of July, a low on the 27th of October, and we could get a high on the 27th 
of November, you know, plus or minus two trading days typically, um, you know, that sort of a high, low, high sequence on the same day is not unusual to see that occur. And so um, we're pretty confident that the next important move is to the downside from a directional perspective here. And we would be cautioning investors to position defensively for the subsequent uh, you know, three to six month period. When I look at this chart, Jeff, I see a massive red light when you look at that momentum lower highs in your momentum when the market's going straight up. I mean, that's that's not a bullish. Uh, that's not a bullish sign. In my opinion, of course, you know, so you think that momentum would be increasing as prices go higher, but it's not. And that in itself is a divergence. Isn't is that correct? That's exactly correct. OK, let's move on to the next one here and uh, talk about your monthly newsletter, which is what I think is one of the best in the business. So tell how the folks they can get it and the massive costs are involved of twelve dollars a month, I believe. <laughs> Please go ahead. Jeff. Well, it's even better than that. Today's Cyber Monday. So we're running a special. If any of your uh, listeners oh, want to take God. advantage of that, just send me an email at jhuge.jwhinvestment.com and I will send you a coupon code. And then you can go to, uh, or, or just a link I'll send you, but it's hugeinsights.substack.com. You can get our newsletter uh, for $99 annually. That boils down to like $8.25 a month. It's a 34% discount for a normal annual rate. Um, it's a pretty well-regarded newsletter. We're now in the top 200 on Substack in investment newsletters. And so uh, we've got a lot of followers now and, We'd love to uh, give you, you know, an opportunity to give us a chance here at a discounted rate here on Cyber Monday. So give it a shot. The next publication actually comes out on December 2nd. So we'll be publishing Saturday, December 2nd. Okay. So you, on your website, you go to www.jwhinvestment.com, and then your Twitter is alpha under slash insights, and then – uh, on Substack, which I don't know what that is. It's hugeinsights at dot substack dot com. What is Substack? Uh, I don't even know what that is, it's, Jeff. It's a newsletter platform, so they handle all the logistics and everything uh -huh. to do with uh, producing the newsletter. All I do is oh, okay. get the content. And, uh, yeah, it makes my life pretty easy. <laughs> well, if I ever get more than five subscribers, I might even think about it. Hey, listen, my friend, thanks for joining us today. And we're going to have you on again soon. And we're going to see whether this uh, lunar cycle that we're setting over today means anything. Because there's a bunch of stuff that's happening. And I'm really interested in that momentum part of that uh, last move. Because to see declining momentum is uh, negative, especially when markets going ballistic to the upside. It means it's starting to wane a little bit, in my opinion. So we'll see. Thanks for joining us, Jeff. We her. really appreciate it. Thank you, Larry. I appreciate it. Have a great one. Okay, you bet. Okay, folks, let's get back up here, and we're going to take a look at the. Uh, we were last thing we were looking at here was Apple. There's where it is right now. If we look at Apple intraday here over the past. Uh, just do a 13-minute chart here. You see what we're reaching now is from the high that we made back here on Wednesday. You can see we're setting right at the 382 retracement here uh, right now. Someone just pointed that out to me. And, you know, sometimes these work, sometimes they don't. But here is a market, you know, that is uh, made the 382 retracement off of the high back here. But remember, this is a short-term chart, folks, 13 minutes. So you don't have to worry about any long-term moving averages our stuff going on. Someone asked a question about, you know, I'm doing research and stuff. The only the only reason I do research, folks, is when someone brings something to my attention that looks really interesting. And that wheat chart with that uh, that uh, little line there that was there, which is a volatility stop indicator, um, has some uh, different ramifications to it. But it really had a tremendous amount of. Um, of uh, accuracy as far as uh, calling the trend. And if you use it with a little bit of common sense with a little A, B, C, D, or Fibonacci, you know, it gives you a little bit of a better, uh, you know, better way of uh, looking at some of these markets. So I, I hope that makes a uh, Hope that makes some good sense or not. We're going to have to take a break here, I believe. Hold on one second, and we'll see where we are with the Tom. Uh, we've got uh, 41 seconds. I'll repeat again. Tomorrow will be Stan Harley. Wednesday will be uh, Joe DiNapoli. Hopefully Thursday we're going to have uh, Bill Meridian on the line, and we'll be able to see if uh, he'll be able to help us uh, decipher through these maze of things that's going on in the market with uh, things in the Middle East and all the other stuff that's going on. Been a lot of crazies out there, folks. I don't remember, remember being this bad, but 
I guess it is. Okay, let's take a little break. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I wanted to finish the show here with the natural gas. We're having a lot of uh, uh, interest in this from what's going on in Europe, uh, very cold weather over there. I hear that from uh, John Jameson and a few other folks. This is what we've done here over the last few days, uh, classic A, B, C, D. Let's just draw these in just like we would if we were home. There's your, your A, B leg right there. You just clone that, put it in. There's your C, D leg coming in uh, right at this level right here. And what we're watching now is the fact this this rally right here. You see how long this rally was? So if you just measure this to that one, you'll see you stopped right at the 382. That's where we're trading right now at uh, uh, 293. So that tells us you're still in a downtrend. The thing that's interesting about this is you have the potential for this little tiny move right here. Look at that, that's, a, that's an hourly chart, so it's taken a whole day to complete that. So if you were to draw that and in from the, let's just do it from the high back here. There's your A leg right here. There's your B leg, C leg, D leg. You could get right to there, okay? That would be 294. And then what you have to do is you have to go and reevaluate what that next 382 is going to be. And voila, bada bing, bada boom. There it is, folks. 
295. You want to watch it as if it were alive. I's a poet and don't know it. I makes it rhyme every time. Anyway, tomorrow we're going to have uh, Stan Harley. Always a lot of fun. And Wednesday, do not miss it because Mr. Joey D is going to be with us. And no politics, but he'll have a lot of good stuff and some great stories to tell. And, of course, if you can't remember he's like me, he'll make it up. Not really, but uh, it's a good part of being old. It's if you use the old Dr. Pepper, tell the truth at 10, and you don't have to worry about you said it too. So that's what we're going to try to do here. So let's take a little break uh, today. See you tomorrow with uh, Stan Hardy. Do something nice for your neighbors, folks. A lot of folks out there with the holidays are having a rough time. Talk to you later. 